Grade 5 Math, Topic 14, Lesson 2. For more resources and additional support, log on to ClassLink and go to Envision to Topic 14, Lesson 2. In today's lesson, we're picking up from Topic 14, Lesson 1, where we learned how to plot points on a coordinate grid. Today, we're going to look at the ordered pairs, plot them, and answer some questions. So on the left side of the page here, I have a data chart. So in this chart, I have time in days and height in centimeters. I'm going to look at these points in the data chart as ordered pairs, which they've done for us below. How you look at this, the X coordinates are across the top and the Y coordinates are across the bottom. So the ordered pairs are one, four. So here's our X for one and four for Y. Three, eight, you see three, eight right here. 510, 711, and 914. So in step one, they're telling us to plot the first point, 14, which they did for us. I'm just going to go over it in black. But they went one on the x axis and four on the y. Be careful here because a difference from yesterday's lesson to today's lesson, notice that each line on this coordinate grid is actually worth two, not one. So if you look at the y-axis, it's actually counting by twos going up, two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. But if you look at the x-axis, each point is still only worth one. So if I move one over, it's one, then there's two, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So always be aware of looking at the coordinate grid and the units and how they're counting. So one force plotted for us. Let's do another one together before we go into step two, just to refresh from yesterday. So I'm going to erase what I have around here, just to make it a little cleaner for us. And now I'm going to plot the second point, which is 3, 8. So I always start at the origin, which is that 0, 0 point. And I have to move on the x-axis first because, remember, I'm going to crawl on the x-axis before I walk tall on that y. So I'm going to go over three spaces on my x-axis. One, two, three. All right, so I'm over three on my x-axis. Now I have to go eight spaces vertical on my y. Two, four, six, eight. Remember, once again, the y-axis is counting by 2, while our x-axis is only counting by 1s. So let's do one more to see if we can do this quickly together. So time in days, my x is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I go 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, so you're starting to see the progression of these points being plotted on my coordinate grid. Let's look at step two. Plot the rest of the ordered pairs from the table. Use a ruler to connect the points. Okay, so let's see how many points they plotted. Well, this point that the pencil's pointing to right now, let's see where that's at. So I have two, four, six, eight. All right, so it's actually on nine. So my X is, my coordinate's going to be nine. And then let's see what the Y is. One, oh, I did it wrong. Remember, two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so that's 9, 14. That's the last point that they plotted, and then they used a ruler to connect between the dots. This is very impo important. You always use a ruler to connect the dots. You don't use your pencil, you don't use your finger, you get a straight edge of a ruler, and from the one point to the next point, you make that connection, just like they're doing right here along that ruler. So I'm gonna erase some of this, and let's look at our questions together. So the first question's asking me, based on the data, about how tall was the plant on day four? So I rewrote day four over here, all right. So I go to my coordinate grid, here's time in days. Okay, here's four. Here's height in centimeters. So now I need to line up where four is and where that intersects with a plot and a point on the y-axis. So I'm about right here. You guys see that? 
It's not really at 8, and it's not really at 10. I'm going to erase my mark where that line is. So see how that line right there, I'm going to circle it in red. This spot is where both of those points meet. It falls in between the 8 and 10. So what's in between 8 and 10? You're right if you said 9. So on day 4, the plant was about 9 centimeters tall. Let's see what day eight is. All right, so I do the same thing. I'm gonna erase some of this so we have a clear mark. And I'm going to look for day eight. Okay, here's day eight. So now I have to follow day eight up until I have a point where they meet on this graph. Oh, that's about, about where they meet on that line. So now I'm coming over here. Okay, so once again, that's in the middle. So it can be either 13 you can write centimeters because it does say about. So it is about 13 centimeters or what you could say is day eight is between 12 and 14 centimeters of growth. So that's the height of the plant. All right. So those are plotting points in us reading the, the coordinate grids. Let's do some worked examples together. I circled the ones we're gonna do together. You can try the rest on your own. So this says graph and label each point on the grid at the right. Okay, point J is first. J is two, six. Remember from yesterday's lesson, I always write my X coordinate first, then my Y. My X, I'm gonna crawl along the X axis horizontally before I go vertical tall on the Y. So two, six, and I always start at the origin. But let's check first. Each box in each line, are they counting by ones? Are they counting by twos? Or are they counting by something else? So let's see, okay, so this is one with the line, two with the line, three with the, okay, so we're counting by ones across the bottom. Let's check the Y axis, okay, zero, one, two, three. Okay, so this is ones as well. So we don't have to remember to skip count like we did in the previous example. All right, now we're ready to rock and roll and plot some points. So the first plot that I will make is the point two, six. So I start at the origin on the x-axis and I go one, two, and then I go vertical on the y-axis, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to put a mark and then I'm going to put the letter J because that's that point. I'm gonna erase this so it doesn't get too crazy as I'm doing these worked examples with you. But remember, this video, you can always pause it and go back to see that again. So J, I did, check. All right, let's do number 10, point M. Let's plot that. So remember, X first, then Y. So X, wants me to move zero. All right, so I'm not moving at all. So I'm at the origin still. But Y wants me to move eight vertical. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to label that, sorry, point M. Now I am going to clean this up and do my next point. Let's see, that one's done which was M, and now I'm over here to N. All right, N wants to be plotted at three, nine. So remember, three is going to be the X value, nine is going to be the Y value. So I start at the origin. I go one, two, three, and then I have to go vertical, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am at the top of my grid. And that is going to be point N, is at three on the X, nine on the Y. And I'm gonna erase this to clean this up a little bit. All right, let's do our next example, which is Q. Q is going to be five on the X and zero on the Y. So let's do this one, starting at the origin. I have to go five first on the X, that's to the right, one, two, three, four, five. 
And I don't have to go anywhere on the y because I'm going zero. So that's the origin that I'm staying at. So this point right here is going to be point Q. And I'm done. Going to erase this, except my point Q. All right, let's do the next one. Next one's point R. Oh, I checked it and we shouldn't have done it. Point R is seven, three. So I go seven on the X and I'm gonna go three on the Y. So I start at my origin, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I have to go vertical three on my Y, one, two, three. And I put my point and that is the letter R, point R. Let me erase my work. to do the next one with you. Now I can check my R. Here's U. U is three, three. So I know I'm gonna tell you, you do your X first, which is three, and then your Y, which is three. So both are, end up being the same here, but I'm still going to do good practice and good repetition, X first. So I go from my origin, one, two, three, and then I do my Y going vertical, one, two, three. And that is letter U, it wants it labeled. So U is going to be right there. And I completed that. Go ahead and do 8, 9, 12, 13, 16, 18, adding this to your coordinate grid on your paper.